Hi everyone, it's Paul, W2PAK. Today's a simple video. We're going to make a counterpoise for this little rubber ducky antenna. The HT has a little vertical antenna. We're going to try to create a vertical dipole antenna by creating a counterpoise at a simple wire. You know, I've seen people do this over the years and I've never tried. I really wanted to try it. So stick around. Let's see what happens. We're in the workshop. What we're going to do is, for this really simple little project, is I took some speaker wire. There's a ring terminal. I'm going to crimp them. I'm going to put some heat shrink just to make it a little more durable. And um, we'll see what happens with the uh, transceiver. In the interest of time, I'm going to speed this up probably eight times or so. So I crimped it. I used uh, some heat shrink to make it a little more durable, as I said. And um, there you go, ready to go. Now we're gonna measure exactly 19 and a quarter inches, and we're ready to go. This is our tiger tail. And to put it on, it's very easy, we just take off the antenna, we unscrew it, it's a little SMA. This is a quarter inch terminal. And we screw it back in, tighten it up, and there you go. This is exactly 19.25 inches. And let's go see how it works. So I decided to conduct three tests with this tiger tail. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a software-defined radio at a, at a distance, and we're gonna to try to key up uh, the transmitter, and we're gonna do it initially without the tiger tail, then with the tiger tail, and see what the difference is. So here we can see, I'm gonna key up, and bam, minus, we'll call it 53 dBm, and we're gonna put the tiger tail on, and key up, and wow, minus, we'll call it 43 dBm, about 10 dB difference between the tiger tail with, with and without the tiger tail. That's pretty incredible. We saw that we gained around 10 dB with the softer defined radio scenario. Let's try a real life kind of scenario. There's a repeater around 29 miles away. We're gonna try to hit that with the tiger tail. I've tried many times without the tiger tail, just with the rubber ducky with no success. We'll see what happens. I'll do it with, I'll do it without, and we'll see what happens. So this is without, W2PAK testing, W2PAK testing, so nothing. That's what I expected. Let's now change the, the antenna, put the little tiger tail on, Let's see what happens. W2PAK testing new antenna. We hit it. We totally hit it. So this little tiger tail did the job. It gave us enough gain to get to that repeater. That is amazing. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the SWR with and without the tiger tail. So we're gonna scan the antenna only without a counterpoise in the two meter band using my antenna analyzer. To be fair though, the counterpoise for this antenna is supposed to happen when you hold the two meter transceiver. But let's see what we have. So not too good, about 3.0 is the SWR. Now let's connect the tiger tail and see what kind of SWR we get. So now I connected the tiger tail and let's see what the SWR rating is in two meters. This is significantly better. Around 1.6 or so over the almost entire band. So from 3.1 to 1.6, much better in terms of SWR. We gained 10 dB with a little piece of wire less than $1. How awesome is that? 
If you have any comments, please leave in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more content, please subscribe. 73 is my friends.